In today's video, I tested secrets around Brookhaven. We got a way to turn into Lightning McQueen, how to make your car go super fast, and I even showed the banned cars of Brookhaven. Right here on the channel, I've made quite a couple of videos about Brookhaven updates. We've seen tons of new items added, new houses, and even brand new secrets. As you can see, new updates are always a blast, but there's actually a sad thing that not many people talk about. Since these updates bring new stuff in, some old things get left in the dust. Like this guy that was one of the first cars put in the game. Nowadays, most people don't use it anymore. That doesn't only happen with cars, but houses and even some items. In this video, she's gonna show us cars that were forgotten in Brookhaven. Of course, she starts with the purple car we just talked about. Next is actually the golf cart. She says it was mostly used in 2012. Another one is this race truck. To her, it's basically an invisible car that no one uses. She continues with this sports car that she says it's not regularly used. Then she talks about this blue one that is apparently fully forgotten by this point. This is so sad to see. And there's always new free cars coming. So that's bound to happen. So sadly, that's just something that happens with this kind of game. Hey, the most forgotten car is actually this one. Oh yeah, you're actually right, Bacon. I have literally never seen anyone use this one. It's basically a new car to me. This one has also been left in the dust. The scooter for sure. No one really uses it beyond being ugly and slow. It's just a pretty old vehicle so comment down below what other cars have been forgotten in your opinion since we're on the topic of cars here's a way to turn into lightning mcqueen in brookhaven first we go into accessories and look for cars then we just select the one that's obvious that seems easy enough we just need to go into the avatar editor now go into the accessories and search for cars look at that our boy is right there i put it on but it doesn't really look too good apparently to turn into a car we need to go full black then get a scooter and do the hair washing animation at the salon. With that, we'll actually turn into a car in Brookhaven. Alright, so let's take all of our stuff off. In the shirts, we just search for black. Get this first one and then look for the same in the pants. Now we paint our skin the same color. Go to this animation configuration and choose the wizard. With all that done, we just need any regular scooter. Because if we take it inside, we'll be able to use the hair washing animation. Now we just need to get off of it and just look at this. We just turned into Lightning McQueen inside of Brookhaven. Well, there's just one problem. My head is still sticking out of it. Looks like we need to use another model for it to look better, since it'll make our model a lot smaller. Now it's a lot better. Oh, the bug wore off. So this actually works. If we want, we can even choose other cars, like this other one from the second movie, I think. I don't remember. In any way, this is all really cool. Dude, take your dirty car out of my way. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm Lightning McQueen. I don't care. My car is better. I want to see about that. Want to go for a race? I'll win easily from that piece of junk. We'll see about that. Our race will be starting right here. We just need to continue on forward until we get to that finish sign. You're gonna lose so bad. We're gonna see about that. Let me count us down. Three, two. Wait! He already started. That's not fair at all. I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit. We're going too slow. We'll use the hoverboard. We'll go a lot faster with it. Take that dude! I won! Didn't you say you were gonna win? I guess you were wrong. That one didn't count. This guy said that he bought this new car for $40 million. So he brought it to this auto shop and customized it so it could go a lot faster than he could imagine. You can see just how fast he can go with that thing. Let's try what he did in case it actually works. The one we'll be customizing is this one. It's a pretty old car in the game. This is the speed it has. Pretty slow and regular. That's gonna change fairly quickly since we got to the auto stop. Let's park it right there and go inside to have a little talk with the owner. What do you need? Basically, I I want to make my car really damn fast. Consider it done, boss. But it's my new employee that's going to be doing that. Hi, how are you? I think he's a bit weird. But if he can make my car faster, I'm okay with it. Where did you place your car? It's right here on the side. I want to make it just as fast as humanly possible. Okay, I'm going to make it go real fast. Seems like he's getting ready for work. He even went below the car. If you can, change the wheel too. I want it to look incredible. All right. Seems like he already got the new wheels. Now he's put putting it on the car lift. He actually got it in there, just like in the video. I'm sure he'll do a job on it now. Look at it going up. Looks like he's finishing it up down there. All right, I think it's finally done. Your car is ready, and it's gonna cost you a million dollars. Wait, what do you mean a million dollars? Are you crazy? It's one million or he'll just stay here.
here with us. Okay, dude. I'm gonna find some way to get that money. I knew that guy looked crazy. Something was definitely gonna happen. One million dollars? The whole car wouldn't cost even a fraction of that. But okay. I already got my C4 ready. You know what that means. I'm gonna have to steal all the places possible inside the city. Not only stores, but the one at Town Hall too. I don't even care. I think with all that done, we actually have all the money we need to get our car back from that guy. All right, crazy guy. Here's the million dollars you asked for in my hand. Oh yeah, money. I love money. Okay, dude. At least he's gone inside so we can finally just grab our car back. We now have an awesome car with even cooler wheels to boot. It must be so damn fast now. A lot more than before. Let's just see how it goes then. Oh gosh, did you see that? This thing goes so fast that I have a hard time controlling it. We need to go over here to see how it does on this mountain. Whoa, look at us go. It goes so fast that we can go all the way up the highest mountain with ease. Oh no, I didn't think this through. That was a bit dangerous, but we do have an incredible car now. This video is showing this guy removing cars in the game, but wait, what does that mean? Apparently, he just uses this truck right here. He basically uses it to bug cars out and throw them really far. And he does that with all kinds of vehicles he finds around town. That seems like such a fun way to troll other players. Why don't we try it out? Let's see. We'll need this truck right here. We get into it and use the button to lower the bucket like that. Our objective now is to find vehicles around Brookhaven. Looks like we found a whole fire truck. Let's put this guy right up here and then press the button. That won't really work. This thing is too big for the truck. At least we can still just push it to this edge. Whoa, dude. It's literally all the way down there now. There's another car right there, but can't seem to do just like he showed in the video. He threw the car so far away. At least we can still push it around. Let me get it to this edge. Oh, at least we flipped it. All right, now we're not playing. Goodbye car. Have a good trip. Damn, it's all the way down there. The other players aren't gonna like that one bit. Why don't we just spread some signs to prohibit cars? So if anyone disrespects it, we have a reason to just throw their car somewhere else. No, you can't put your car over here. Move along. Wait, I think I found another car right up here. Dude, didn't you see there's no cars in Brookhaven anymore? Guess you're gonna go right into the bucket. Looks like it's having a bit of a hard time there. It's getting buggy, but we can probably carry it still. Just get it already. This girl is deleting the car and spawning it a bunch of times. Stop doing that. I need to throw it away. Just found another. There it goes. Hope you have a great weekend. Come on, boy. Get back there. Awesome. We finally got it in there. Now, since we found this guy parked in a prohibited place, we'll have to dump it. And by dump it, I mean dump it inside the ocean. Goodbye, little car. Hope you have a good life. Now their car is in the middle of nowhere. The player is for sure not gonna like this. But that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below what other secrets you'd like to see shown next. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. You won't forget them. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Brookhaven and lots more. Have a good one!